In this video, we will see how to define and modify grid lines in MIDAS engine. In the structure tab, we will click on define or modify and click on define to start the definition of 3D grid line in MIDAS engine. We can define the grid line from quick definition menu or we can use its dialog box. To use the dialog box, we shall click here. The grid information is divided into three parts for 3xi, that is x, y, and z. We shall begin with x direction. To define, we can provide any name to our 3D grid. Then, to select base point to insert our grid lines, we can click over here. It could be at the 0, 0 point or any other location. So, under the information of grid set, we shall provide distances in the x direction. These distances are with respect to our base point. The X grid lines can have any name. We can see those names in the bubbles here. We can edit these names from here directly as well. And those will be reflected directly on our screen. By checking on off over here, we can choose not to see the bubbles. Under the renaming no rule, we can choose how to rename all the grid lines together. One is by using predefined. One, two, three or ABC such are the predefined ones naming rules. We can check on this start number to start from any of the predefined number or letter like we can start with number letter b and then click on rename so all the grid lines in x direction will start with b c d e if not of course just select the predefined ones and click on rename and they'll start from the beginning we can also rename our grid lines with our own prefixes for example, for the X grid lines, the prefix is X. When we click on rename, we'll get the names as X1, X2, X3, X4, X5. We can check on reverse so that the names will be in the descending form, like it starts from X5 over here. After we are done with the definition in the X grid for the X grid lines, we can move to the Y and provide the information for the Y grid lines. For example, the prefix would be Y and I'll click on rename. Further, we'll go to the definition of levels in the Z direction. For levels, we provide the distances from the base. Like from the base, from the zero, what is the elevation of that level. These can be renamed with level names, elevational level names, or we can name it as level with floors, or we can check on only floor to rename it as per the number of floors, base 1F, 2F, 3F, 4F, and so on. To finish with the definition of the grid line, we can click on OK. And there we go. We can also create grid line directly by using the quick definition tool. So we can directly click on define or modify and use these quick definition tools to create a grid line. We can create multiple grid lines. So here we can start directly providing the distances for X grid lines like 3, 4, 5, 
these values which we are providing here are after we provide five distance then from that particular grid line the next distance is to be provided we can also provide three numbers at six meters then uh, another five meters and so on similarly we can do it for the y direction and we can provide levels as well like there are 10 numbers of stories of 3 meters floor to floor height so 10 at 3 now this new grid line we can place it at a particular location by clicking on select base point and we can simply provide another location and as per this location the grid line will be created so we'll click on apply and continue to finish our grid line definition we have got two grid lines over here and these two grid lines we can see it in our model tree menu right under the grid grid set 1 and grid set 2 we can choose to display or undisplay these grid sets by unchecking these boxes beside the grid sets to finish with the command we can press escape from the keyboard now after the grid lines are defined these grid lines can also be modified once generated from structure under the drop down menu of define or modify we can click on modify modify means we can copy or move this is for move and this is for copy the grid lines that we generated so if we say move we can select any grid line in any plane we can select let's say for example the top grid line with this arrow we can move it upwards or we can just provide over here the distance information of let's say two meters and click on apply so in this way we just moved the level k upwards similarly we can move any other grid line by selection that's about the moving then we have got copy we can also copy our level in this way or we can provide the distance for the copy and click on apply we would require to rename our new level that is generated. This is how we can modify our grid lines. We can press escape to finish. So this is how we can define and modify grid lines in Midas engine.